Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. This is Michelle, I'm an prepper. I'm just doing maintenance on all my hydroponic units today and decided I'm going to change things up a little bit. I have nine total growing units and I'm gonna be starting to try out this Aero Garden microgreens kit. It's an accessory piece that fits into a harvest model, which I have the majority of those. Um, I have this set on a box because it has a little little stem on it that fits inside of the actual water tank itself. But this is one of the newest items from Aero Garden. It let me bring it closer for you. It is uh, the microgreens kit. And on the inside, it comes along with, if I can get that not to blind you, it comes with the irrigation deck, which I have sitting on that box, microgreen trays, the felt media, and light filtering domes. And it includes a bag of microgreen mix that I'm going to use, one of those, and I'm going to do some of my own. And I do like that. They have non-GMO stuff in there. That's kind of what the setup looks like. So, um, I have already went ahead and put water in there to get that out of the way. But I do have everything else set up. I have the, these are the actual inserts that will fit inside of here instead of all the pods. And then there are the, oops, now I gotta get back in there. Um, there's the felt media here and the blue domes that go over the top. For seeds, I'm using two different kinds. I'm going to be using Aero Gardens. I have in this bowl here. And this is, if I can get it to focus, probably not. My phone does not focus on anything, it seems like. Uh, but this is a mix of broccoli, purple kohlrabi, arugula, Tokyo Chinese cabbage, red, ca red cabbage, and red Russian kale. I'm going to use some of theirs. And then these are just microgreens, the American seed brand from the Dollar Tree store, no longer a dollar. Um, this one has a cabbage, red express kale, mustard, something. Uh, Black Knight, Cabbage, something, again, I can't read all these, but and in mustard. Anyway, it's a mild mix, and the one from Arrow Garden is more of a spicy mix, they say. But I have those in bowls. This is three packets worth of these microgreens. And this bag that came with the kit, uh, I forgot the total amount that's in there. But anyhow, there's quite a few seeds in there, and you only use a couple tablespoons, so... Anyhow, I went ahead and did the first step, which is I filled up my tank over here with the water that was needed so I have some space. So um, these felt, they're, they're pretty good size, but um, they only go in the trays one way, so you can't put them in the wrong way. And I'm sure I'll probably put it in the wrong way. Yep, I put it in the wrong way. See? <laughs> good thing. See, I'm doing this with you. Uh, for the first time here. So I have the felt media in there. I'm going to uh, go ahead and use a teaspoon measuring spoon. It says to put two teaspoons on each side of each tray. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to use, I have a spray bottle that I keep in here because I spritz some of my plants. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on there. Okay. All right. So I have a little bit of water on there. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree American Seed. And it says to use two teaspoons. So, and it says more does not mean better. So I'm assuming that means don't use more. And <clears throat> it says to just spread them around, you know, kind of spread them out a little bit in here try to keep them oh yeah 
course, I'm not going to spread them just perfectly, but that's okay. Perfect is, that's one, and, uh, okay, do some more. Anyhow, you can just dump two teaspoons in here and put there. And then if you want to, you can just spread them out a little bit more with your finger if you want to. So that you get more space for them to sprout. I still like doing sprouts in jars. It's just I haven't had as much time to do those lately. Lots of things going on. It's been a busy time of year. And then on the right side over here, I'm going to use the Arrow Gardens. And I'm just going to put the two in here and spread them out myself. And you can see the different colors in the seeds here. There's a lot more variety in the, uh, the Arrow Garden seeds. So that was two teaspoons there. And I'm just going to spread these out a little bit. I am going to take some photos like every day after I get these set up in my in the unit and get the grow light on there. So anyhow, that is that part there. So I'm going to take my little my little stand that I was using and uh, put that over there. I'm just going to move the water tank over and it just fits right in the unit right there. We gotta get the cord out of the way. There we go. This is the plug that goes into the unit itself. So the seeds are in there and of course the lids only go on one way as well. You'll see that how they fit there. And whoop, get those seeds in there. And that one goes on here. So this is all set to go in the unit and get the lights going on there. I'll be posting some updates probably every day. Um, the mild greens, it says they just, it says as little as five days to harvest. The arrow garden, I don't know. I've never used their seeds for microgreens, so we shall find out. But if you are someone that has some hydroponic units and you're interested in doing some microgreens, um, check this out and uh, it's something you'd like. I think it was uh, $30, $29.99 plus tax for this adaptive, uh, the parts that I showed you and the seeds, which there's a lot of seeds in there. So not a bad deal, but if you check on Amazon, um, I'll see if I can find a link and put it in the description box for you. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for some updates on how this microgreens kit works from Aero Garden. Have a great day. God bless. Keep prepping.